Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let's Go. In this video, I am going to do or give you a demo like how the web scrapping works. Okay, so web scrapping is a very simple concept. It is used to scrap the data from the web pages. Okay, so mostly if you see any of the courses like the artificial intelligence, the machine learning, or the data scientist, uh, probably most of the time we have to collect some data from different sources, different websites. So for that, we use the web scrapping concept. Uh, there are plenty of library available in uh, Python, in JavaScript, we can do that. But as a test automation engineer, mostly we interact with the DOMs, we interact with the web pages using tools like Selenium, Playwright, Protector. With the help of Playwright today, I'm going to scrap a website. Uh, just a small use case here, nothing big here, it's very small use case. Okay, Here is your website, letcode.in slash courses. And if you see here, for each and every playlist that I have in my YouTube channel, uh, I have given like uh, like how many numbers of videos I have and what is the total durations like that for each and every playlist I have created. Similarly, I want to do something for Playwright. And of course, the number of videos and the duration is going to get increased day by day, right? So uh, instead of going through and doing that manually, I thought of writing a script. So that is what we're going to do now. Okay, it's going to be very simple and easy, so I will not waste your time much. So I will tell you like the exact thing what I'm going to do. Okay, so it's going to be very simple. So first of all, we'll import a test. Okay, then the async function and we'll use the page as a fixture. And then we'll return the random is function. Okay, so that's it. We are pretty much done with the basic stuff. Now, first of all, we need the URL. So const URL equal to this guy okay and the next thing of course we have to say await page dot go to so we'll go to that particular site and then uh, we have to find multiple videos durations right so for that already i have taken this particular uh, css locator so this will basically try to get all the uh, time so here you can see it's giving like hours and the minutes okay so we are going to get that so first of all we will find that so I'll wait and here we have to say page dot double dollar and then i'm going to pass this css value here okay now let's store that so here i will name it like const um, videos and then what we are going to do we are going to look through each and every every videos and we are going to extract the times okay so before that we'll just try to print the uh, videos length just to make sure it's correct now let's go and run this so i'm going to say npm run test in this playlist i have like 40 videos so we can expect the output as 40 and yeah we got it okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to loop through each and every uh, videos that means this elements and then probably from there i'm going to uh, like extract the text okay so before that we'll just uh, use the map function so for that i'm going to say await promise dot all and within this i'm going to use um, the video dot map and of course we have to use the await here i think yeah uh, not the await sorry okay so within this what i'm going to get i'm going to get the element and then with the element we'll do something so we'll make it like async so that we can here use the await and element dot uh, we want the text right so we can use the inner text so that's going to return me the text here okay so let me store it here so a const this is going to be my duration of the video okay this element is nothing but from the videos we are going to get one video um like from this list we are going to get one video at a time and from there we are going to take the text that will be this duration okay now uh, what i have to do i have to uh, the simple idea is basically i have to take the time and based on the time i can using some formula i can uh, get the hours minutes and the seconds okay so first we'll say like let uh, minutes equal to zero and similarly let seconds equal to zero okay then what i'm going to do i'm going to check so there might be minutes and seconds or maybe minutes seconds and the hours as well right so i'm going to check the duration length 
so i will write a simple if condition here if you if duration dot length it's going to be two then we have like only the minutes and the uh, seconds okay else if the duration is going to be have length of three then that means of course i have the uh, minute seconds and the hours as well right now let's write a simple formula so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the duration uh, dot before that i'll have to split it right so before finding this i have to split it okay so this will return like something like let's say that it's going to return like 15 comma i mean uh, 15 colon 45 okay that means 45 is my seconds and 15 is my uh, minutes right so uh, how do i know like which one is minute and which one is seconds or maybe something like uh, something like this right so seconds so what i have to do i have to split basically and so we will say like a uh, duration uh, dot split and then we'll split based on the colon okay uh, but before that there might be some spaces so i'll just use that trim uh, to make sure that won't be any spaces then i will split it okay now this guy is going to give me the time slices like uh, hours or minutes or something like this okay now based on the slices i can check the length not the duration okay uh, and here what i'm going to do uh, first of all uh, okay this guy we don't want it yeah so first of all we'll get the minutes right so for getting the minutes and that's going to be very simple uh, that's going to be like time slices of zero okay so time slices of zero but this guy is basically your string right so we have to convert this into a number so i can just directly say like number of the string that means it will be get converted okay so like of uh, type uh, type casting okay and similarly it will be for your seconds so i can just uh, change it here to one okay so zero means uh, this guy and one means this guy okay so i hope you understood now what i will do i will just simply convert the seconds into minutes as well okay so here i have to say like uh, minutes plus minutes or plus equal to uh, seconds divided by 10 uh, not 10 it should be like 60 okay okay similarly we have to find for the hash as well so here i will say like let okay this is the formula to find the hash so first of all we will take the zero that is this one so we will convert that into number and we will store it here okay then we will take the minutes and the seconds and then to extract the minutes from the remaining hash and the seconds so we will use this formula okay um yeah that's it now let's go and what we can do is uh, first of all what are the final minutes we are going to get we have to do the append because it's going to run within the loop right so before the loop starts i will say like let um, total minutes equal to zero and then we will simply uh, after this one like here we'll just say like total minutes plus equal to this minutes okay just a simple formula uh, if you know about the time calculation it's going to be very easy i do not know actually i copied from stack overflow but yeah it's easy only you can just once you get practice you will it will be very easy okay uh, so finally we got the uh, after the loop like within the loop we find the total time let's print it out and check okay so i'm going to just log this total time just to see like I'm getting some answer okay so ctrl j to bring up our terminal and we are going to execute this again it will be like something like um, more than like 500 i believe so the video length is like nine hours i think uh, then we have to write another formula to convert the total minutes into hours minutes and seconds okay okay so here you can see that we got the total minutes that is 560 hours 565 total minutes so i'm going to convert this into minutes and hours for that we need another formula so i'm just going to do the copy paste okay so this is the formula so here we have like math dot floor and math dot truncate and this is the formula okay so you divide it by 60 and mod of 60 and do this you will get the minutes has has you will get the minutes has and the seconds okay that is what i have printed here along with that i want to print the page title as well so we'll say like const um title equal to await and then followed by page dot title okay so page dot title yeah and we'll just do the string tongue interpolation here as well so we'll say like um, 
Okay, so let's finally run this and check. Hopefully, it should give us the correct answer. Okay, so here you can see that it's totally like 9 hours, 25 minutes and 22 seconds. Okay, that is the total length of the Playwright series. Okay, um, now what I will do, I want to find for different uh, playlist as well. So I can use the same code, but instead of this uh, URL, I can get it from the array. Okay, so what I will do, I will create a array here first. So I will just name it like um, const list and then and here i'm going to give the uh, array values okay so let me go and get some url so this one playlist okay so i have i'm going to take only two one so first one is the selenium tamil playlist and another one is the playwright okay just to show you okay nothing much here so uh, you can have like a number of urls and uh, probably you can make use of this okay so that's it we are going to run with this and here i have to pass it here right so what i'll do i will just use a loop here so list dot uh, for each is fine and that's going to give me one url at a time and based on that i'm going to make use of it so what i'll do i'll just wrap this within this okay will it work yes it should work okay so here you can see that we are getting the url from this and this okay now let's go and bring up our terminal and execute I think it will throw error why because uh, for multiple tests we cannot have the same name okay uh, yeah so I will I'm correct actually so here you can see that duplicate test titles are not allowed okay so that means here in the test uh, it is not allowed to be duplicate okay so what we can do is we can simply do the concatenation we can uh, pass the URL itself that is also fine or else we can say like date dot uh, now that is also fine so based on the date and time it will create the specs okay specs is nothing but test okay so let's run it one more time and let's see so here you can see now now it says like running two test okay and the browser got launched you can run in headless mode as well but if you run in headless mode you have to take care of your time out so timeouts as well so what happens is like when the when it's run, going to run in headless mode the css and the javascript doesn't uh, fully loaded so what will happen means the number of videos will be less okay so to avoid that what we can do we can do some like kind of scrolling or we can increase the weight but yeah this is fine okay so here you can see that now i have like 18 hours 53 minutes of selenium java tutorial and nine hours of the playwright playwright tutorial okay so that's it this is just a basic uh, tutorial kind of like web scrapping actually not the entire full web scrapping but kind of web scrapping okay and this is what most mostly people do so if they want data probably they will scrap the web okay that is what web scrapping okay so probably this fine for this uh, tutorial maybe in future we'll do it in a like uh, in, in more in detail okay so that's it. I will upload the code in the GitHub. You can check it from there. Um, as usual, thanks for watching. See you in the next one very soon.